All right, guys, quick video. I have the uh, Plasmatic VO. I have myself a cigar. I'm out here about to enjoy a cigar. A bunch of people asked me if it would light a full-size cigar like this one. Um, I have successfully lit in cigarellos before with this since I got it, but never tried a full-size cigar, so we're going to try it right now. So here we go. This is an Alec Bradley Sun Grown. Shut off, just because of the time holding it. See the center is lit. It is lit. However, it's not a, <laughs> it's off to a rocky start just because of the fact that I had to go around. Now, if I were to do it again, which I'm going to, just because now it's a, now it's a project, a science project, right? I start off in the middle. So the middle started burning first. I think that if I started on the edges, that it would work perfectly fine. So I'm going to do is actually put this out. Cut the end off and try again. So, got my cutter. Give this a couple snips. And we're going to get a fresh start on this to see if it's going to work how I think it's going to work. Because it worked fine. Obviously, the cigar was lit, but it's not gonna burn evenly that way and for the guys who care like myself I'll try it again all right so did waste some cigar there but we got a clean foot again now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this again different technique I'm going to go around the edges and you guys will see this I'll actually I'll light it like on an angle here maybe that'll help you see a little bit better what's going on here but I'm basically going to light an edge you know, towards the rim here, rotate it, lay an edge, rotate it until they go all the way around and I feel successfully lit. Now as this starts heating up, you'll see the flare-ups, you know, where the fire, you know, uh, flares up. That will also help to light it, but it is all the, uh, the lighter here, so let's, let's try it a different way. Okay, you can say it's starting to, <laughs> careful itching your nose because I feel like I was going to zap myself in the eyeball. Alright, so starting to light around the edge. Still not there yet. Let's see. Yeah, no. It's just uh, starting off too wonky. So I'm going to call it quits because I don't want to waste this cigar. What I've tasted thus far is actually pretty good. Well, technically I lit the cigar, but it's a pretty wonky burn to start off, and um, you probably wouldn't be happy with that. So although it did light the cigar, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I would definitely not recommend the VO for large gauge cigars. Cigarettes, all day long, totally fine. Again, just because 
of the uh, the plasma beam here, the little cross pattern, would completely cover the end of a cigarette, or again, in the case of a cigarette, since it's much smaller. Regular size cigars or larger size cigars, I'd stay away from it. Just, you know, technically it's lighting it, but it's not going to light it how you want it lit. You want a nice even burn all the way around so you don't have any problems with smoking it. So therefore, I'd stay away from it. So, the technical answer, yeah. Yeah, it works. The real answer, no. I wouldn't recommend it. All right, I'm back for a second. Two things I wanted to add on this video. Number one, I got a comment from someone talking about these uh, Q-tips that have the uh, alcohol in them. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't realize this, but when you snap them, you hold the lit part up so it actually fills the other part, which is clearly more sturdy. All right, so when you clean the tip, which I'm gonna do right now, since it's a little bit dirty, do it that way. In my demo, I had this tip, you know, that's all flopping around trying to clean. Obviously, it's not as effective. So you want to do it that way. So first off, thank you very much to the person who commented on that. Much appreciated. Sometimes you just don't know something until you know it. But I always appreciate comments that are uh, correcting me. You know, I don't take offense to that. If I'm doing something wrong in any video, you let me know. I want to get good information out there. All right. Now also, as you saw, the lighter kept shutting off even though I was holding it down. And that's because there's another safety feature in here, which I didn't talk about in the review, that shuts the lighter off um, after a certain amount of time. So we're going to figure out right now with the stopwatch exactly how long it'll stay on while you're trying to light something. And the idea behind that is if it's on accidentally, it won't just stay on and start a fire or whatever. So, on the count of three. One, two, three. I'm curious as to how long it's going to take to imagine maybe less than 10 seconds 10 seconds try it again just make sure that's right one two three you see I'm holding it down the entire time here yeah so after 10 seconds it's automatically going to shut off regardless of whether you're holding the button down or not I'll get one last shot here so you can see I'm holding it the whole time And, you know, yeah, that's a safety feature. There it is. Okay. I think that covers everything. Like I said, I always want to get good information out there. So, those are two little things I wanted to add to the end of the video. The safety feature on here, as well as the proper way to use these little Q-tips. You can see those nice and dirty. No longer dirty now. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.